got the wisdom for the gross god the photograph wisdom who's got the wisdom Photo bros got the wisdom. Everyone, it's me, the Photo Bro. Welcome to the Photo Bro channel. Okay, everyone, it's me, the Photo Bro. You have reached the land of the Photo Bro, the opposite of Ken Rockwell. That's right, you have reached the land of the Photo Bro, the opposite of Ken Rockwell. Now, a couple of people ask me questions about why I am posting videos about camera reviews when you know the photo board philosophy of cameras. Well, there are just a couple of things, one thing really, but there are basically a handful of things you need to know before you buy a camera. And I'll go over them again, but just watch my other video, which camera why megapixels is important in my other video the truth, the awful truth about camera reviews and camera reviewers but honestly there's just one thing you gotta know about before you buy a camera and you don't spend any more time than a minute on it but I will continue to post reviews short less than five minute reviews on my very initial impressions when I'm using a new camera or picking it up and using it for the first time. And I will try to review all the new models that are coming out because a lot of new people want to use them. Just remember my advice. Today you can take great photos with very inexpensive old cameras. Do not spend any money on a good camera. You don't need to. And I want to talk about this now because watch my video about don't be a GWC. My other video, the D4, Nikon, Nikon, as we call it. Well, it depends where you, which coast you come from, I guess. But the D4 Nikon versus Canon versus uh, the versus D800 uh, versus D7100 Nikon. They're all Nikons. They're not Canon. As you know, now, watch my video and get an idea of what I'm talking about. But I want to go over today with you what's important. And that is, the one thing you notice with all these so called gurus on the internet, and I'll tell you, back in the day, we really didn't care about this stuff at all. But one thing you'll notice is this. Most of them, if not many of them, if not all of them, will do one thing. Make you feel like they know more about it than you. And in fact, many of them might know something more about it than you. But I think they're wrong. And you can see my video, The Awful Truth About Camera Reviews and Reviewers, to see why. But basically, they will do one thing, and that is make you think they are gurus by having all the latest equipments and showing it off in their videos. And I don't mean diddly squat. Here's what I'm talking about. Back in the day when we were using 8x10s, big 6.7s, and 6.8s, and 6.6s like the Hasselblads, and today using the big Fuji Blads, 8 series Hassel, Hasselblad made by Fujifilm, and using whatever cameras we happen to get our hands on, we don't care, you know, it doesn't matter what your camera is, that's the whole point of the photo bro wisdom, it don't matter, it can be a compact, as long as you can trigger a flash with it, you're going to be fine, yeah, and, and the lens has got the range you need, whatever it might be, but here's the thing, all these noobs who are the gurus on the YouTube are showing off all the equipment and it don't mean nothing. Here's why. Back in the day when we were using all the big stuff and today a working pro, guys like me who were shooting I mean, hey, shooting magazine covers twelve years ago using a two point seven megapixel D one made by Nikon. 
or the Kodak DCS series, 720s and whatnot, 500, 700 series. We don't care about the camera. We don't go to another studio and say, oh, look at this, ooh, 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 hello, I'm that Nikon guy, look at, all, look at this, ooh, ooh, ooh. no, we don't care about that shit. It don't matter, it's horse shit. Why don't you be using the camera all day long, every day, week after week, month after month, year after year, and when you upgrade, or you give them whatever you're given, the last thing you want to do is to talk about, or look at, or hold a goddamn camera body. Okay? And only noobs like to do that. Okay? And I'll tell you, you know the photo bro wisdom, and that is, camera don't matter. All these reviews have got you jumping up and down like bit rabbits. It don't mean nothing. Spend one minute deciding what camera you want based on the feel, in your hand of that camera. The amount of money in your pocket you can spend, and by the way, you should spend less than one-tenth of your budget on the camera. One-tenth of your budget on the camera and the lenses. One-tenth. And I'll talk about this in forthcoming podcasts and whatnot. Because you got lots of things to spend money on. Marketing, studio, subjects, okay, when you get started, you need that. No one's going to come knocking on your door wanting you to take photos of their models. Lighting, grip, modifiers, lighting, 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 you get the idea, okay, cameras just once more part. These people talking about, oh, look at this camera, I, uh, I use the Nikon, oh, ooh, 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 D7100 is better, my thoughts on the D3X versus the D4, ooh. it don't matter, it's all 100% poor shit, and, you know, you can, if you're a street shooter, taking street photography, hey, you can take great photos with a camera phone. You can get photos that you wouldn't get with a camera because no one knows you're taking the goddamn picture with the camera phone. People are natural. They think and you're looking at your phone screen. All these reviews about all the different lenses, all the different cameras, ain't worth a squid. They're worth nothing. What matters to you is picking it up and saying, this is a camera for me. And a couple other things I'm talking about in my videos, please have a look at my videos. And I will continue the series about what I think is the number one thing. I've already spoken about that. And what I think is number two and number three things. But hey, when you pick it up in your hand, you'll realize what those two things are anyway. First one's not so easy. Okay. So there are my thoughts from the photo bro. That's the wisdom to help you get out there and be successful and stuff worrying and spending any more time on the forums, on the internets, on the, on the YouTube, reading about whether some camera is better than another. It don't matter at all to your image quality or the amount of money you will make. And if you think a director of a magazine is going to say, ooh, you're only using a five-year-old model, whatever it is, S5 Pro from Fuji, which, by the way, is a great camera. Ooh, why ain't you using the H40 or the, why ain't you using the D4? If you think that's what they're going to think, think again, because I can tell you, they do not. People on the YouTube want, want to make you think that that's what it's like, but it's not. Okay, so please, rate, subscribe, comment, tell your grandma. Please leave your comment below. I am not going to block anyone. I am not going to censor your comments. Comment away. Ask me a question. That's it from the photo group. See you on the channel, friends. Bye for now.